not forget to tune in and keep it locked into the Ubuntu FM hip hop show where I, Chris Duff, will take you through some of the UK's leading hip hop artists. Oh my gosh, it's going to be an excellent show. See you there. Incoming. Yes. Oh my God, I am so excited, kind of thing, because in the studio with me right now is Teddy Reese. Oh my God, Teddy Reese. What's going on? Man, how are you? I'm all right, man. How are you? I'm good, you know. How was your week so far and all that jazz? It's been all right, you know. I actually had a job interview the other day. Oh, nice. Yeah, it went really well, so. Fingers crossed, did you hear yet? Well, they already gave me a start date, so. Oh, nice. Good day. Congratulations. <laughs> yeah, I'm kidding. Yes. Okay, then. Cool, 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 cool. So, what is your official artist name? Oh, it's Teddy Reese. Okay, how did you come up with um, Teddy Reese? Well, I had the nickname Teddy from one of my friends and yeah, I just stuck with that. And the Reese is um, the second part of my first name. Okay. So my first name is actually Jaden Reese. Okay. Um, spelled a bit differently, but yeah, so I put it together like Teddy Reese. Okay, nice, nice. So how long have you been doing music? Okay, so I'd say my whole life, like um, growing up, I was more of a musician, so I was playing drums, I was playing bass in church, and my whole family's musical. Um, further down the line, you know, I've got, got a love for writing lyrics, probably say about like my teenage years, you know. Okay. Um, and then, yeah, when it came to like 2017, 2018 is when I started putting tracks together. Um, and then when I started uni is when I um, started to take it way more seriously. So like 2019 to now is like, the most music I've been making. Okay, yeah. so I'm I'm similar to you kind of thing where I um, grew up in the church kind of thing. Were you one of those church kids where you were waiting after, you know, the quintessential waiting for your parents to finish lab labrishing yeah. so you'd be on the on the drums, <laughs> on the bass? Okay, in service. Okay. Yeah, yeah, in service. Nice. So I was waiting them, for them to done talking so we could get some food and get curry. Right, it's always the case kind of thing because by them time, the hungry belly is a thing. Um, is. <laughs> yeah. I mean, thank God for some of the aunties that came to church kind of thing. They used to always bring their little Tupperware of yeah. fried chicken or some wild dumpling or yeah, fried dumpling move, kind of thing. <laughs> for the picking them because they knew they were chatting for a long time after church. I don't know what's wrong with these people. Okay, so. When did you know that you have something special? When was the catalyst that got you started? Only during uni, you know. When they started showing us how to make beats and I started to, um, you know, put my own beats together and start taking writing seriously. Okay. That's when I started to notice that like, my team was a bit different from what I've been listening to. Okay. Yeah. Nice. And what kind of style do you do? I would say it's like conscious rap, hip hop, trap, like UK kind of energy okay nice we'll have to ramble into some of your tracks in fact let us do that right now let's sure. go into your first track um which is called what's your first track that you want to listen to um stay 100 stay 100 okay give me a second i'm going to put that track in for you people and we'll be back right in a minute Smoked in the morning and wrote and recorded Jumped on the mic like I was really performing Pouring my thoughts on the beat, it's unique How I talk like I'm rapping and rap like I'm talking Don't even call me unless it's important I'm honing my craft and collecting resources If you don't chip in, you can't get a portion Money talking, can't afford to ignore it Making beats, now I'm really just holding They sent me this beat and I told them Just let me add bass with distortion Then added the Ready, Teddy <laughs> I got a goal, cause I got a goal and I got a grow Pardon me if I've been stuck in my hole On my loneliest nights I'm protecting my soul More so, I'm about to build up my streams Like multiple streams of income, you know what I mean This is the oldest and wisest that I've ever been So it's perfect timing to speak Heard them boys rapping but they are not quite as unique Would someone enlighten them please? To me it's like riding a bike, can't handle the bars Then you gon' fly off your seat been writing for weeks and grafting to get to the place I should rightfully be Don't think I'll have nobody writing for me I open up and speak my mind on the beat Problems were piling on mountains to mountains I feel like I'm climbing the peak Life is enough, I ain't trying to compete with nobody I'm searching for guidance and peace 
lyrical individual I think that I'm reaching my pinnacle Anyone hating or trying to be cynical It's highly likely they're doing the minimal That's pitiful, I know that my time is critical All of my energy's critical How'd I get here? It feels like a miracle Man, I can't wait till my income's residual Can't wait till I got me a chick I can show to the family, but that's hella difficult If she all about money, that's pivotal Pay her no mind, now she feeling invisible I already got me a freak I can trust She busts it, ain't nothing we need to discuss When I call her, she be in a rush See me at least once every week of the month Ain't no love between neither of us We still did it like we was in love Turn up the music to cover the sound If it gets any louder, the speakers will bust The speakers gon' bust out, the bass is bumping If I show you my beats and I say something Got the loud on me, guess we can blaze or something We'll get baked, we can roll up a baker's dozen With the same guys, but it ain't the same discussions If you ain't getting money, you ain't saying nothing Ain't no 90%, always stay 100 That just show you, so you know the way I'm coming The speakers gon' bust out, the bass is bumping If I show you my beats and I say something Got the loud on me, guess we can blaze or something We'll get baked, we can roll up a baker's dozen With the same guys, but it ain't the same discussions If you ain't getting money, you ain't saying Nothing ain't no 90% always stay a hundred that to show you so you know the way I'm coming Oh jeez <laughs> Now I mean Oh my god, is that violin? Is it a violin? What is that? I'm not even sure, you know. I got the beat off one of the guys from ACM. Yeah. Oh my round of applause! Cheers, that was awesome. Cheers, I mean, bro. that synth or instrument or violin, however he's done that synth that Yeah, it's a very nice man. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Trust and believe it really is. Um, what inspires you? What motivates you and why? Um, I feel like what inspires me is the artist that's um making music this um to this day, like um people like Nux, people like Red 32, um like the UK guys are killing it right now. Yes, they really are, um, I agree. Even drill, like I listen to drill. Um, but I don't make drill. Um, but yeah, there's a few there's a few <coughs> UK vibes that I like that inspire me. Yeah. I've I I um <laughs> I tried to make a drill track the other day. Mm. I am it's definitely something for the young people. Um, I mean, it's just <laughs> one of them things, yeah. Like once you get the hang of the basics, then it's easier. This is it. I'm actually wondering what do they use? Is it a serum that they use, or do they use like a logic stock? And um, you know the base because those bases yeah. are really heavy. They don't, they're yeah. not even eight to weights. They're properly like synthetic. Boom down there, yeah, bases yeah, kind of yeah. thing. I need to learn that trick of um trying to because I think that's the thing that's missing from some of my um grime and drill productions kind yeah, of thing that because heavy bass and also I'm really like it's the hi hats like all of them is like the same hi hat I get you I get you that kind of pattern yeah yeah, yeah. um so you know obviously like we we were taught any kind of thing at ACM to do things like commercially kind of thing for yeah. for, for the people so that um that was interesting when I was trying to um to to do the drill beat kind of thing but anywho, that's enough about me. What um, do your friends and your family think about your music career kind of thing? Like, are they supportive? Yeah, they're supportive, but they don't think much about it right now. It's been quiet. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's been a while since I dropped something, so okay. they're all just kind of patiently waiting. But, you know, January next year, I've got some things in the works. Nice. Coming, so. Nice, nice. Um, so, okay, they're cool. Um... What are some of the challenges that you face as a producer, artist, musician? Yeah, I think it's just finding the time to just get in your zone and just hone in on your craft, mm. which I think is like an essential part of the part of the process because you want to be in a, hit, a clear headspace mm. when you're making music. Like, there's um, always times where you want to fear around your job and fear around work, and you got all the ideas while you're working, and then you get that time. And it's writer's block or you ain't in that zone you can't think of nothing tired like i think that's what's been hard is like trying to squeeze it in and it's not working yeah but what's helped is just to like clear some space and just focus on music like 
Yeah. Because sometimes, especially when I make a beat, sometimes I need the freedom to just listen to that beat for a few hours mm. without writing anything before I like fully gauge how I want to attack it. So, I mean, I all heads up to you kind of thing. It's a craziness. I used to write all the time mm -hmm. um, to random people's beats. And as soon as I started producing, not a song from from Christoph. Really? Yeah, it's, it's a madness. It's really truly madness. I just find it for me anyway, kind of thing. I find it really hard to split my focus. Okay. Um, I'm one of them ones that I need to. If I'm focusing on something, that's the focus for now, and I'm very tunnel vision in yeah, that yeah, focus, yeah. kind of thing. And then anything else just gets dropped off by the wayside. Okay. <laughs> you know, yeah, it's, it's, you, a terrible, it's a terrible way to be. But I find it that I um I'm a, I'm a perfectionist in it, so mm -hmm. I always want to make sure that. Uh, all the beats that I'm making are not perfect, but you know what I mean, of a quality standard that people can enjoy. And so I find that splitting my time between work, the nine to five and the music is sometimes laborious because you're just like, by the time you finish work, you come home, you are tired. Yeah, I think that's the toughest part. Mm. Yeah. Definitely. Okay, then cool. But that's the, yo, hopefully you work that out, you know what I mean? Kind of thing and like um, segment some time. Do you know what I mean? What helps me because sometimes is just like dipping sometimes when I'm off work, just dipping to a beach somewhere, mm -hmm. sitting down, listening to the beat, them, yeah. them writing kind yeah, of things. Do you know what I mean? Good for you, man. Okay, awesome. So how do you feel the internet, especially um social media, has impacted the music industry in the last um five, ten years? Man. This is what I did my dissertation on. Is it? So, uh, boy, so we got plenty to talk about. Um, I got a lot of help. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, <laughs> yeah, like, it's definitely had a big impact. I mean, like, I feel like the impact that social media has had on people's mentality and their minds mm. has subsequently had an impact on music. Mm -hmm. And I would just say that based on what I know about what's happening to people's attention spans as these platforms, you know, grow in popularity and the clips get shorter, like, they'll be showing two clips at the same time, like, so I feel like as people's attention spans get shorter and shorter, the tracks get shorter, um, the intros get shorter, you know, like, tracks will just drop straight away, like, cut straight to the chase. Mm -hmm. I remember having to listen through tracks, like, to see if you're feeling it, but these days it's just straight in yeah, yeah. i remember um nick um from acm mm -hmm. one of the first um composition lessons that he taught us was about song structure yeah and one of the advice that he gave us was um to get to the chorus within the first 30 to 45 seconds wow but now i mean that was four years ago yeah, yeah, yeah. now it's even less time yeah, yeah, yeah. so do you think it's a benefit i mean obviously it is a benefit for marketing and for pr and stuff like that but when it comes to the mental health of um you know the artist do you think it's it's of a detriment in some ways or do you think that it's actually quite positive i feel like if you if you're gonna start bending over backwards it's always going to be a detriment like if you True. feel like you're bending your art in a way that it's not completely how you wanted it to drop then eventually that's going to weigh down on you because it's all right to make these small adjustments to get your tune popping but like at the end of the day if it's something you want to do for long term then you want to be dropping comfortably what you think is the best art you can produce True that. regardless of how people receive it True that. so i feel like you just gotta have a balance of both really okay okay cool um so okay then cool how do what would be your dream collaboration whether it be with producer or artist or um did i say producer musicians um my dream collaboration i would love to have a track with kendrick Ooh. and feel like i didn't get spun <laughs> <laughs> That would be my dream, like, you know what I mean? I held it down on the track. Yeah. Um, and the producer I probably want to work with either Kanye West or Pharrell. So, speaking of Kanye West, let's just um, divert and, like, um, sidetrack from it. What do, you, what, do you, what, do you reckon, what do you reckon of his latest behaviours on the social media? I mean, late, recently he just got barred from my fucking uh, Facebook and, and Twitter, was it? What do you mean, like, bro? Like, he hasn't changed, bro. He's always been like this. You know I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I've been a Kanye fan from young, innit? So okay. Like, I was, 
like proper young growing up to his tunes. I think the first album that I proper banged out of Kanye's was Late Registration. Okay. And I don't know what year that was, but I was young. And um, yeah, I was too young to really understand the antics of what was going on. But as I got older, I realised he's always been the same. Like He's always been quite outrageous, <laughs> quite outspoken, <laughs> um, no filter. And that kind of energy is what artists need to channel to create their best work. Okay. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. I mean, I will, I will, I'll save my opinions kind of thing. Um, <laughs> That's cool. It's, 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 no, it's just... Uh, you you know just don't it, agree with how he says what he says. It's not even that. I just think his clothes is ugly. Oh. And I just... Like his fashion. I, I hate his fashion. I hate... The music is fantastic, yeah? But yeah. please, bro, if you're going to do the fashion, yeah, mm -hmm. at least don't make us the scapegoat of your fashion. Do you know okay, what I mean? Okay. Kind of thing. Like... Anyway, that's the next subject yeah, for another nah, time. That's a, that's another podcast. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, then. So tell me what your um, what your what your project, your current project, or your next project is going to be about. Cool. So I don't really have a project, but I got a few tracks that I want to drop um, okay. next year. I want to just make sure that I'm consistently dropping like every other month, if not every month. Mm -hmm. And um, so I had a mixtape that I released that unfortunately it got deleted. Um, for some technical reasons that I'm yet to understand but I'm going to release each track one by one and then drop the tape again with a few bonus tracks Okay. because the first time I dropped it I didn't really do much promo for each track individually so now I want to give each track their time yeah. to just breathe and then I drop the tape like, probably towards the end of the year that's nice, I mean definitely if you want some help with that I'm more than happy to like you know give Much you some some, some, I'm some, some... going to use your PR lady, so... Oh my God, Tracy. Shout out to Newly's PR company kind of thing. She is awesome. I mean, her radio plugin is far... I mean, she got us like 30k, do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like streams on, on, on the Spotify and the iTunes kind of thing. So she... And she's a lovely woman as well. Bless her. Um, oh, that's that's cool. Um, so... I want to change this here kind of thing to I'm keeping stum kind of thing. Um, do you have any stories um, in the industry before we ha before we end? Do you have any stories of industry stuff kind of thing that you've been through, like at gigs, any madness that that you care to speak about, or um, any crazy stories in the music industry? No, I don't have any crazy stories. I've only done like a few like small events at like open mics. Okay, one or two that I might have been headlining, and I think one one time I was gonna perform. And for some reason, I felt so nervous. Like, I feel like I was going through certain things. And um, I just didn't want to perform that. I was, like, I was in my car. I knew they was going to call me in a few minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking I'm either going to roll another zoo or I'm going to step in and perform. Yeah. It's one or the other because I can't do both. And then I went in and performed. And, um, yeah, it went all right. Um, I just remember feeling how I felt. And um, just that critical moment where I was deciding like, what I was going to do. I ain't got no crazy stories. Okay. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. Well, thank you so much. We're going to end this um, this chat now with one of your tracks. Which one would you like the audience to um, nice. to listen to? Let's go for Up. Up. Yeah. Okay, awesome. Well, Teddy Reese, thank you so much. If I can find the mouse, I would love to play that. So... <laughs> I'm going to play that <laughs> in a moment. Cheers, well, thank you so much for coming in and talking yeah, to us. You know what I mean? Um, have a blessed and most awesome fucking rest of the week. And Cheers. obviously, holler at me kind of thing for oh. any kind of promotion and stuff like that. And you know what I mean? And I'm, I'll be glad to help. And I'm also going to sort out my Instagram thing as well because I've just noticed something on there where people can't mention me. What kind of something is this? Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> 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 Thank you very much. We're going to end that now with up, yeah? Yeah. yeah. All right, then. Awesome. Teddy yes. Reese. Cheers, Thank man. you very much. See you in a bit. Ready, Teddy. Contemplating go. when did go. life get so complicated? But it's always been this way. Now it's just in our faces on a daily basis. Feeling like I need to get away Not talking about a holiday, I'm talking relocating I wish that I could see my guy that I ain't seen in ages It's funny how much time can fly when you're at different stages I need to balance time but I feel like I haven't been lately 
Times are crazy, but name a time that hasn't been crazy. These hard times haven't managed to phase me. Maybe it phased me, but I know that it couldn't derail me. Communication's gonna keep my relationships healthy. I got some people around me that if I slip, they'd tell me. Would you rather be rich or be wealthy? These days when I'm talking money, I mean it. Cause I need it every season for my future and my freedom. I just started grinding, I don't even need a reason All I know is that I got my profit going up I ain't slowing up, getting bread, trying to focus up In my zone for months, if I hit all of my brodies up They'll know what's up, if I tell them that I'm rolling up They'll showing up, on the beats, let me load them up Got it going nuts, bad bees, wanna roll with us Now they're showing love, got a feeling that I'm glowing up Soon be blowing up, y'all don't know it's us We them niggas that be going up, uh. Going up to the top spot, straight to the guap, getting money non stop. I'm from South East, I ain't shocked if it pops off. Skip the block like it's hopscotch, I ain't got ops. If you're not squad, you'll get dropped off. All my brothers round me on job if it's on top. I'll be in my zone, but before I'm locked off, had to swing round for the that was top notch. My feelings are dissonant I'm channeling my energy to start making differences The mission is winning so with my thoughts I envision it I gotta free my mind cause my perception is limited Grow up where I'm from and it'll give you resilience I'm more than a lyricist, I'm invested in businesses And it's teaching me diligence cause I keep reinvesting And I ain't taking out dividends till my pockets are swollen up But for now I got my profit going up I ain't slowing up, getting bread, trying to focus up In my zone for months, if I hit all of my brodies up They'll know what's up, if I tell them that I'm rolling up They'll showing up, on the beats, let me load them up Got it going nuts, bad beats Wanna roll with us, now they're showing love Got a feeling that I'm glowing up Soon be blowing up, y'all don't know it's us We them niggas that be going up uh. Profit going up, I ain't slowing up Getting bread, trying to focus up In my zone for months, if I hit all of my brodies up They'll know what's up, if I tell them that I'm rolling up They'll showing up, on the beats, let me load them up Got it going nuts, bad bees, wanna roll with us Now they're showing love, got a feeling that I'm glowing up Soon be blowing up, y'all don't know it's us We them niggas that be going up, uh Ready, ready Coming.